open your mouth and thank God. You would have been somewhere else. I want you to give him glory because you are in the house. I want you to give him glory because he has enabled you to be here. Some started but they have not ended. But you are here at the end. And it is written that the Lord deserves the best for the last. Your Latter end shall be better than your beginning. Thank God for this day. Give him praise and glory. Bless the blessed Holy Spirit. Appreciate him for this hour. Tell him how grateful he how grateful you are. Thank him and tell him, Lord, thank you. Thank you. You might not be where you want to be. But you will be where he wants you to be. You will be where he wants you to be. Thank him for every instruction you have received from this mountain. Thank him for every word you have received from this mountain. Every testimony you have received from this mountain. Every rebuke, thank him for the rebukes. For the Lord will rebuke and discipline they that he loves. Thank him and tell him, Lord, thank you for the rebuke I have received. Tell him, Lord, thank you for the discipline I have received. I receive it gladly. I receive it joyfully. I receive it willingly. Thank God for every caution. Some of us have been cautioned. Thank him for every caution. Thank him for every counsel. Some of us we have been counseled. Now we know better. Now we know better. Now we know better. Thank him for the counsel. You have received counsel from God. You are now, you are now aware how to do things better. Open your mouth and begin to give him thanks. Open your mouth and begin to give him thanks. Thank, Thank him for the connection. Thank him for the grace. Thank him for the grace. Thank him for his goodness. Father, we thank you. Lord, we appreciate you. We give you praise and glory. We give you honor, power, and majesty. We magnify your name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The convener of this meeting. The one that has brought us from this mountain. We thank you, Abba Father. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' precious name. Let's give a clap to him and bless his name. As we take our seats in the wonderful presence of God. We want to give God all the praise. Who has enabled us to come until today. I want to congratulate all of you, those that are here and those that are following. To have been able to make it. To come to a new day of your life. Welcome to a new day of your life. Welcome to a new day of your life. To a new dawn of your life. After today, your life will be better than all the days you have ever lived. After today, your life will live with color. After these days on this mountain, you will live decorated by God. You will become 
an attraction to kings and to queens. Bakabaka never never chara, but Jakubanga Bawali is the Wokusika. Your light will attract greatness. O Musana go, go gain the Kusika over Kuru no Venene. You will not struggle for favor. Togenda Kufuba Urakuganja. Favor will open your doors. Daily until their ends. Okuganja kugenda kuguri renzi jipako mwaka riguna guwaku. From this day. Okuvo na kuruwarero. People will begin to think about you good. Abandwana rani kwa ngokuro oza kuburu unji. And they, as they think good about you. Iranga bakuro oza kuburu unji. Favor will answer. Okuganja kuna ya nukura. Favor will answer. Okuganja kuna akudamu. This year. Omwaka guno. Will be the mother of all the years you have lived. Whatever you have struggled to achieve, it will come before you wake up. This year, before you raise your voice to ask anything, your answer would have come. So I congratulate all of you. Welcome to your new world. A lot has been said to us on this mountain. But I want to leave you something that will help you to sustain, to maintain, and to continually multiply whatever you have received. I want to show you the way you shall take to continually stay aligned with that which God has purpose for your life. And after that, we shall do prayer and a couple of things, and then we'll be done. It is one thing to receive from the Lord. It's another thing to maintain what you have received from the Lord. Men know how to access, but few know how to maintain. Men are able to hear, but few are able to sustain what they have heard. Today, I will show you one of the ways to sustain, to maintain, to keep, and to continually guard jealously whatever God has sent to us. And that, what I want to share about with you is where I stopped last time. The Key you need to sustain, to maintain, and to keep whatever you have is in the word known as waiting upon the Lord. The way to keep your alignment perfect with the Father. Is upon waiting upon the Lord. We read a scripture in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord, not who wait on money. So not to wait on anything else. Oh, Baba, but those who wait on the Lord, we saw a few things that will happen to them. Number one, we see the new law which said is you you capture and update abilities. You continually receive new spiritual new spiritual 
Buri kasera eguru yebiba biroza na wobo biraba. You stay constantly in two new spiritual frequencies. Buri yo amarobo zige guru nengora ye guru obo raba buru njibwe tambula. God keeps on updating you. Kadonda zigara ngabuli chipie chiva mukuru chimani. Until you are updated. Paka angotege de chipie chiri mukuru. You can't outstand. It is your update that determines your outstanding in life. Without update, you cannot stand out. We are living in an ever-changing world. Today, those of you who are fan to phones, you discover every after two months there is an updated version of a phone. There is an updated version of a car. Even to us in the spirit, we must constantly stay updated with the things of the spirit. So we saw waiting brings about into renewal. We saw waiting puts us into a uh, uh, into an area of divine strength. You constantly need uncommon strength to thrive and to survive in the world where gross darkness is continually increasing the intensity. Even wickedness and iniquity will intensify you will never pray and reverse it. It takes divine strength in you to thrive and to prevail. We saw that those who wait are the only ones that capture the ability to mount, capture the ability to be promoted, capture the ability to be lifted. They receive lifting power. It is the law of lift that enables you to go against the law of gravity. When you are living in the world of gravity, there will be a lot of competition. There will be a lot of infight. I mean infight. When you apply the law of flight, you have already gone above struggling and bickling and biting one another. That's why in the sky they, they will never be traffic jam. There's no traffic jam in the sky. Because the law of gravity does not operate there. Traffic jam is on earth where the law of gravity operates. So it is the mounting ability that raises you to the flight mode. And it's not got anywhere apart from Waiting upon the Lord. We also saw that in waiting, you acquire wings. And we said the longer you wait, the bigger and the larger the wings grow. Your wings will determine whether you will fly or you will soar. With smaller wings, you'll be a flyer. With larger wings, you'll be a sowala. There's a difference between flying and sowing. God has destined us to sow. Now when you get in the shower rim, when you get into that rim, you begin to mock every storm in life. You are raised above every storm in life. Now you are seated far above principalities and powers and forces and rulers and now you are seated together with Christ. At the showering status, you become immune to any storm of life. You smile at storms. You mock storms at flying level. You are afraid of storms. You run 
one here and there to ask for help, to seek for help. At the sowering status, storms will cause you to smile when you see them. It is in waiting that you acquire wings. Another reason what happens when we wait, you attain an ego status. When you talk of an ego, you'll be able to learn more from my latest book, Daring Leadership in the 21st Century, A Higher Dimension. It is available in a Alistok bookstore, but also on Amazon, whoever is watching us online, you can go and download yourself and buy yourself a copy. In this book, I'm trying to explain the traits of an ego. When you talk of an ego, what comes into your mind? Number one, vision. It is in waiting that you conceive a vision of your life. The Bible says in Proverbs, I guess chapter 29, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 19, that Without a vision, my people perish. Without my vision, people perish. Vision is the sustainer of your life. You don't get vision on the street. You don't get vision when you are eating two meals a day. You get vision by a vision giver in the sacred place. The Bible says where there is no vision, New King James, I mean King James Version. Where there is no vision, where there is no vision, people perish. But he that keeps the law happy is he. Vision is a life sustainer. Vision is what keeps you awake. Vision is what keeps you on tiptoes. Vision is what motivates you to read books. Vision is what helps you to connect with the right people. Vision is what stirs you up to wake up in the night. By two I am awake. Without going back to bed. Why? Because of the burning and the living vision of what is in my heart. The reason why you are a sleeper. No vision. Vision is the motivation of your living. So, ego, when you talk of ego, you are talking of vision. When you talk of ego, you are talking of speed. It is in waiting that we get divine speed. When you talk of an ego, you are talking of leadership. Because the ego is the king of the sky. Like the lion is the king of the jungle. The sun is the king of the galaxies. The shark is the king of the sea. The man is the king of the earth. Diamond is the king of precious stones. So the ego is the king of the sky. So you are talking of outstanding leadership. Every outstanding leadership is embedded within waiting upon the Lord. When you talk of an ego, you talk of long life. A good ego is supposed to live for 40 years. But because of the art of waiting, it extends her years from 40 years to 70 and 90 years. An ego can live up to, up to 70 or 80 years. But what enables the 
eager to do so because of the power of waiting. When you talk of an eagle, you talk of wisdom. It is the most wisest bird. Wisdom is located in the presence of God. When you talk of an eagle, you talk of a smart fighter. He does not fight with strength, he fights with wisdom. For example, when a snake attacks an eagle, the snake, the eagle will not give an attention to a snake. All what it will do, stretch her wings, change the altitude. It will fly beyond the gravity in a higher attitude where the snake cannot breathe anymore. The snake will die by itself without an ego doing anything. So it has military capabilities. It is in waiting that we acquire skills of maintaining our military capability and our fighting capability. When you talk of an ego, you talk of faithfulness. An ego when it is mating, when it has seen a, 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 a female ego when it has seen a male ego, it doesn't trust easily. It puts the female, the male ego on a taste. It will pluck out one of our falcons fly very high in air while the male is following her. Then suddenly she will leave the falcon. It is the responsibility of the male to pick it before it falls on the ground. In case it falls on the ground, that is the end of no leisure, no sex. It doesn't do it once. It does it three times. And the male must make sure that that falcon does not fall on the floor. So when it successfully does so, then that female ego will accept love. And then they will become husbands and wives. That is an ego. Testing Royalty and faithfulness. When you get married to an eagle, and the husband happens to die, the woman will never marry again until she dies. That is only attainable by waiting. Those are secrets of waiting. When you learn to wait, you will be royal in your assignments. When you learn waiting on the Lord, you will be faithful in your due diligences. Many of us we shall get in heaven. And God will place an ego before you. God will look, God will charge you based on an ego. So some of us egos are more faithful than we are. Some of us egos live longer than we are. But we are more faithful than we are. Some of us egos live longer than we are. An ego can never die of COVID-19. 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 Our scripture again. We attain an ego status. And the Bible says. They shall run. It is in waiting. That we get ability to take off. Where we get the ability to run. You can spend 40 days in prayer and fasting. And run 10 years ahead of the people that were before you in ministry. Just because 
You can wait for seven days in prayer and fasting. And physically, in your achievements, you run six months ahead of the people that are just eating and feasting. It is in waiting that we acquire speed. By the end of this year, last year, by the, the time we ended the, the, the year, I had many millions in debt over the Tower of Faith. I have not even shared with our accounts. I have not shared with anyone. So by the close of the year, many millions. So when they are started, I told God, we at our family altar putting our resolutions, what everyone must pray for. I told them, for you, I want to help me to pray for me with me. I have only one agenda this year. I want God to help me. And at least every day, I don't spend less than eight hours before his presence. And we agreed that as, as a family. Where everybody is doing 12 hours of prayer and fasting for 40 days. For us as a family, we said. Now, for us again, as we are doing the same fasting, we carry out another fasting within the fasting. So for 40 days, all we are doing normal 12. For us, every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday was dry. We did it. Now, when I engaged not less than hours before him, in the first week of January, God opened a door. 70% of all the debts were paid without announcing, without noise. The second week, about 99%. Waiting. It is in waiting that we can speed. Jesus told the disciples, let's read Luke chapter 2 and verse 25. Luke chapter 2 verse 25. The Bible says, and behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And the same man was just and devout. Doing what? Waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Ghost came upon him. Verse 26. And it was revealed to him by the Holy Ghost that he should not see death before he had seen the Lord is Christ. And he came by the Spirit in the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him after the custom of the law, then he took him up in his arms and blessed him and said, verse 29, Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For my eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all the people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory to thy people Israel. How was Simeon able to get into this dimension? He waited on the Lord. And the Holy Ghost came upon him. None of us we claim to be having the Holy Ghost, we only have his shadow, not his reality. Now, 
Because we are so much in haste to wait on him. You give him time. You give him program. program. This man waited until the Holy Ghost came. Because you ca- he cannot come. You cannot know the dimensions of the Holy Spirit without diligent, consistent, continuous, and determined waiting. That is why Jesus said in Luke chapter 24 verse 49, Luke chapter 24 verse 49. He said, and behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. That promise is the blessed Holy Spirit. But it gives them a caution. It will come. But hold on. Wait. In the city of Jerusalem, don't attempt to get in ministry. Don't attempt to enter into a day. Don't attempt to consult and in business. Don't attempt to go in marriage. Don't attempt anything in life. Before Waiting. Everything you attempt before waiting, you will be frustrated. Every frustration in life is traceable through our being in haste, not waiting. You wait before you got the final instruction. You wait before you got the Ten Commandments. You wait before the Word. After you have thoroughly waited, so shall the Lord send you. And Jesus said, when I sent you, did you lack nothing? None of us just went. Some of us just went. We were not sent. God will not be responsible for your protection and your provision if you just went. You will pay your own fare and bring security guards around you to guard the anointing on you. You will need guns and to put some fast around you as a, a way to prove that you are anointed. But when you are sent, you will send higher security to God and to preserve and protect you. You don't need a physical gun. When God has sent you, when he sends you, he will send you with the full package. Now, Scriptures like this will begin to make sense. You will buy without money. He said, until the city of Jerusalem, until you shall be endued with the power from high. It is waiting that the Holy Spirit comes upon the saints. When you, when Jesus started ministry, Luke chapter 4 verse 1. Now, Jesus is scripture himself. John 1, 1 is, is the word. But a word without power, it will be knowledge without impact. Today we have many knowledgeable people that quote principles and quote 
wisdom things, but they are struggling and frustrated in life. They have been in every Bible college, but their life lack a color. Jesus was scripture. Jesus is the word. But listen. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness. Being 40 days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing. And when they were ended, afterward he angered. Give us verse 16. Let's jump. Verse 16. And the Bible says, and he came to Nazareth, where he had been brought, as his custom was, and he walked into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up for to read. And he said, there was delivered up unto him a book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he opened the place where it was written. The spirit of the Lord is upon him. Because he has not made to preach the gospel he has sent me to heal the broken heart and to preach the liberty to the captives and the covering of the sight to the blind to send at liberty them that are bruised and preach the acceptable of the Lord. Even Jesus the word needed to wait upon the Lord for the Holy Ghost to come upon him. Jesus needed to wait. Well, it is until he waited that the power came upon him, that the anointing came upon him. In Acts chapter 2, the Bible says, from verse 1, Acts chapter 2, verse 1, and when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all, all, they were all with one accord in one place. Doing what? Waiting. And the Bible says, suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And they appeared unto them proven tongues like of fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with Holy Ghost. And began to speak with other tongues. And the Spirit gave them utterance. And they were drawing at Jerusalem Jews devout men out of every nation and heaven. Now when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded. Because that every man had them speak in his own language. And they were all amazed and marveled. Saying one to another, behold, they are not all these which speak the And now we are we every man in our own tongue, where in we are born. Now, I wanted to bring something here. There were two categories of people. Those waiting and those outside. Power came upon only those that were waiting. Those outside were spectators, observers, critics, and analysts. Those Waiting is where we get baptized. Is where we get circumcised. Is where we get purified. Is where our garments are changed. Is where we receive a new countenance. When Jesus was at the mountain of transfiguration, this is where his garment was changed. His his count, it is in waiting that we master the voice of the Lord. In 1 Kings chapter 19, when Elijah waited on the Lord. This is when he got to get the, vo the still voice of the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, 
The Spirit of the Lord has spoken me to speak to you. The time is now for everyone to create personal time and wait on the Lord as an individual. It is time has come for every one of us to create a sacred place. Have a sacred place in your house. Have a sacred place in your office. Have a sacred place in your car. Create sacred time and begin to wait on the Lord. God is calling upon us to form and to create personal altars at personal levels. That is when we shall receive the power. What the church is missing today is the true manifestation of the power of the Holy Spirit. You will never capture the power of the Holy Spirit when you are in haste. When you are in a hurry. It is in waiting on the Lord that we learn the power, Amen. the principles, no, no. the abilities of the Holy Spirit. Without the Holy Spirit, you are a piece of a cake in the hand of the devil. So what do we acquire when we wait on the Holy Ghost? I will mention them and then we'll be done. Among us, the many things we acquire when we wait. I have called them spiritual intelligence network. Spiritual intelligence network. It is intelligence that makes you a superstar above the rest of the people. I have told people in our church, Israel as a nation is the country, a small country in the whole world that is being surrounded with the most enemies on earth. And yet Jerusalem is the most peaceful city on the earth. How are they able to sustain their peace? Because of their intelligence capability. Any nation with the highest form of intelligence becomes a superpower. What makes America a superpower is her intelligence ability. It is intelligence that makes you above everything. Now, is, now, their intelligence is in a fallen nature. But our intelligence is in the exalted nature. So when the Holy Ghost comes upon us as we wait upon him, we acquire intelligences. It is your spiritual intelligence that will cause you to be a head, not a tell. Not your confession. Not your decree. It is your spiritual intelligence that will make you a head, not a tell. That will make you above, not beneath. That will cause you to be the up of God's eye that you may be able to see the sight of God. It is your spiritual intelligence that will turn you into God's battle axe. It is your spiritual intelligence that will cause you to be God's uh, a weapon of war. So what are these intelligences? Number one spiritual intelligence. When you wait on the Holy Ghost, you acquire what we call the ability or the intelligence of perception. Ability to perceive. Ability to perceive things spiritually. This is what the Shunam made a Shunamite woman, a great woman, to become above her challenge of boundless. When you read 2 Kings chapter 4 from verses 8 to 10, 
Just so man perceived that Elisha was a man of God. I love what the Bible says. The Bible says, and it came to pass on a day that Elisha passed to Shunem. Listen to what the Bible says. Where was a great woman? If your Bible mark a great woman. She was a great woman, yali mukazi wa amanyi, but barren Nainga mugumba. and without God. Everyone has potential of greatness. But the Bible says Bible she gambi. was a great woman, wa but barren. Nainga mugumba. But what delivered her? What brought out her greatness? She perceived that this is a man of God. May God give you grace to perceive your man of God. To perceive your woman of God. Apostle Mayanja told us here, every God you need, every breakthrough you need is in a certain man. Until you meet that man and perceive, la luta continua. The struggle continues. So you receive perceiving ability as an intelligence. Number two, you receive the ability or the intelligence to be aware of the prompts of the Holy Spirit. You master the prompts. The Holy Ghost operates by prompting men. It is your mastery of prompting that energizes you to act on time. Number one, act outside time. Operate outside time. Because we have neglected the intelligence of prompting. By the time God prompts you to wake up and pray in the night, He has sent something He wants to deliver you. By the time God prompts you to fast, He has already seen danger He wants to save you. By the time God prompts you to give something, He has already seen your future. Maybe He wants to save you from a family. But because we have not developed this prompting, we cannot become Having victims like every people. Number three. When we wait on the Holy Ghost, we acquire the intelligence of the supernatural ability to be aware, to be in the know, to know by the Spirit. I gave their testimony of Pastor Dawson. They came to my office. They were believing God for church land. And I got a quickening and knowing. And I told him, rise up. Go now. Begin in Kabembe. Go to Kalaji. You'll be able to acquire land. To make sure that he has no excuse, I gave him money for fuel in his motorbike. I told him, don't go home. Go, go now. I got an awareness. He left immediately. He got in Kabembe. He looked everywhere. He could not see the land. So he went to Karaji. While he arrived in Karaji, a lady he had blessed many years ago. So he was a oh, pastor. He stopped. He stopped. He said, what are you doing here? He said, my father in the Lord told me to come and look for land. So the Lord told him, I have your land. He said, how? He said, many years ago you blessed me and I said in my heart that day I will meet you. I will give back to God this land to appreciate you what I have done. So let's go and I'll show it to you. He went and showed him the land uh, in Kalaji. The following day he called me he said, I saw the land. He came to my office. I told him, go and tell that woman to make it legal. 
Let them involve the council and everyone. And they sign. He came to my office with a photocopy of church land where he has not paid a single penny. I was aware in my spirit that he must go now. And now that is where the church is in Mukaraji. When you acquire this intelligence, you will become aware where your breakthrough is. You Come away where your divine connection is. How did I meet Apostle Richard Mayanja? I said, how did I meet Apostle Richard Mayanja? Many years ago, when Family FM had just started, we were doing a program every lunchtime. We were doing a program every lunchtime. Operation Freedom Lunch Hour. Operation Freedom so Lunch Hour. So we do a teaching from midday to two. One of those days we had just completed the program. The Holy Ghost made me aware and told me, rise up, go to Popopo. I was at Popopo. I was with my daughter. In the Lord, we drove to Popopo. Now, there was a meeting organized by Apostle Charles Tumwine. Charles Tumwine, a titled Equipping of Saints. Equipping of Saints. Now, that afternoon, it was Apostle Mayanja preaching. Apostle Mayanja, we sat a little bit. Eventually, they invited him. Now, as they were inviting him, they talked so big about him. And I got disappointed. Because I have been disappointed many times. They will invite a man and talk heaven over him, but when he delivers, he delivers us instead of heaven. So I told my daughter, let's get behind and we shall be living shortly. Then a person comes up. And only 10 minutes, he spoke words I've never heard. I told my daughter, let's remove our notebooks. I will need to sit now. We sat. Now, it's not in my culture. It's not in my culture. To go to a preacher and ask business card. I was ready to For the first time, I had to break my protocol. After preaching, I went and asked him his business card. I asked him whether he's a Ugandan. He told me, yes, I am. The Holy Ghost told me, from today, you need to partner with that man for what I have called you to do. That's why 12 years later, he is a close friend, a close covenant partner in ministry. And he has made an impact in this ministry. So I invited him. I can tell you all the sermons he has told. By that time, we are at Ginger Road Police Sports Club. I invited him. And the sermon he preached. Okay, let me tell you the sermon he preached. This is about a 20 years ago. The day, 18 years ago, the day I met him at Popopo, he preached a sermon. Entitled from Luke chapter 2. Luke chapter 1. Luke that serve servants and many was the topic of the subject. And servants and many. And I can teach that sermon. It everything I remember everything. So when I invited him at Ginger Road Post, Post Club, Road over 18 years ago, the topic of his preaching was spiritual maturity as a master key to greatness in life. He quoted Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. I still remember I have preached that sermon over here. That one sermon I have preached. I have eaten money and money out of love of you. You finish preaching, they will call you a professor. Somebody say amen. amen. Aware. Okumanya. To be aware, to be in the know. Before lockdown, lockdown the Holy Ghost, Ghost made me aware that let everyone go live. Teach your church. 
to maximize social media. Before media lockdown, I, was, I didn't know what would happen. We did the whole service educating our church how to use Facebook, how to go online. We did that. Service. I told our media come up with the technology of where people can be online. As I speak to you right now, there are people live now around around the world yes, following this now. service now. 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 There are people online following, following. diligent ministers. We all, it was during the lockdown Mulokodown. that we opened up KLT Cyber Church. Today Today there are members watching now around, around the world. world. While other churches were closed, our church was never closed. We are constant. Actually, I did more work during lockdown than I was aware. I was aware. I was aware. When you, be, you wait on the Holy Ghost, you will move a step ahead above everybody before you. While other people are planning to do something, you have gone 10 steps ahead of them. Another intelligence is the ability to be moved or to be carried away by the Holy Spirit. The ability to be carried. The ability to be taken to places where you matter. We see this happening in the life of Philip. In Acts chapter 8 and verses 26. Philip could appear and disappear. He would only be in the place where he's needed most. That is only possible by the habit of the Holy Ghost. We see men in the scriptures disappearing. Elijah never was never buried. He disappeared with Jesus. Enoka, Enoka, a man who devoted himself to it on the Lord. He never tasted death. I want to believe in my generation. There are people that will never test death. If it could happen then, it can happen now. There are people that will never test death. In our days, you could be one of them. You could be one of them. There are people in our days that no sickness, no disease can kill them. When their time to depart comes, when their time to come out of the body comes, they will only sleep and return in glory. This business of dying in a car accident and you crash and they pick pieces of body will never be your portion. This business of hitting iron bar on your head and you die, you die a shameful death, it will never be your portion. Nobody of you will ever crash in a car accident and die. All will die, but you will survive. Nobody will ever die of cancer that hears my voice. Nobody will die of leukemia that hears my voice. One time I was preaching at prayer palace. And the Holy Ghost quickened me. I told me to call all people with HIV AIDS. They told me to lift up their hands. Give thanks to my name seven times. They gave thanks. A lady who had been checked for over ten times. I never laid hands on her. She had been checked over eight times with HIV AIDS. But by the quickening, I told her give thanks. When she went back for a test, she was HIV negative. Until tomorrow, she's HIV negative. Why? Fever. 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 Mosquito. Born again. Another intelligence is the intelligence of the ability 
of accessing visions and dreams. Heavenly visions, heavenly dreams. These are meant for us. The Bible says in Amos, God will never destroy a city except he has Livered it to his prophets. Amos say, "Katonda to kamba bulungi nyonti taina chizi chibuka chona chasola kuzikiriza okujanga sote na chibi kulia." God gives dream. People still dream godly and divine dreams. People still receive visions. Abantu okole seba 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 ne manya baba chak funa neviro to babi funa neviro bwa katonda. The Bible says in. Joel chapter 2 verses 28. It shall come to pass in the latter days that I will pour out my spirit upon all the flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams and your young men shall see visions. Visions and dreams are our packages. They are our portion. But they are only accessible when we wait on the Holy Ghost. Another type of intelligence we receive from the Holy Ghost is the ability of divine revelations. The ability of divine revelation. Revelation is your ability to see the future and to be able to interpret the future in the now. When John the Revelator and the Book of Revelation was cast at the island of Patmos, he saw the book of Revelation. When Daniel waited upon the Lord, he was able to see the revelation of the future. Joseph waited on the Lord. He was able to see the revelation that would deliver the nation of Egypt out of economic holocaust. You never walk a quality life as a pastor. You will never walk a quality work as a pastor. Without revelation. Let me tell you, church. We pray by revelation. We give by revelation. We obey by revelation. We keep our marriages by revelation. We fast by revelation. Everything we do in the kingdom, it must be by revelation. Because the just shall live by faith, that's Wang by revelation, not by sight. When you are a man of revelation, you will not be afraid to declare your dream and your vision. And finally, but not the least, the intelligence the Holy Ghost gives is the ability of being constrained. Ability of? Of being constrained to be constrained. To be constrained, to be, to be, to be, to be, to be resisted, to be, to, to, to be resisted. Okugira. 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 Yes. Yeah. Now, many times, if you said being, people are losing marriages because of lack of this intelligence. You will go home and your husband will tell you one word. And you will pour out your heart with without constraint and you end up in a fight. Because you are not learning this work so much in conflict resolution. I have told people before by using this technology in the kingdom you learn this principle you win by accepting to lose. You live by accepting to die. You become wise by choosing to be a fool. If you are going to be wise in all of conflicts, 
You have lost that relationship. If you are going to be alive all the time, you don't want to die. You have lost that connection. What enables that ability? Have you seen people who have lost that ability? What enables 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 that ability? You can never pastor God's people well without this technology. The ability of constraint. There's a person in this church. She acted good. She was a minister. But a big problem. She literally messed up everybody. She became a concern to everyone in the church. But every time I wanted to take an action, I felt constrained. Every time I wanted to take an action, I felt constrained. One time I was full. Because a man came all the way from Luero. I have not Luero. met him. Simon Sinkana. And began to tell me everything the Lord has talked to him about this particular woman. In this and and was from Luero. And everything he said was right. When I wanted to take an action. When I, to take an action I was constrained. Out of her character. I have learned lessons that no Bible college teaches. One time I wanted to reprimand her. The Holy Ghost told me, My son, if you were the pastor of Judah Escariot, how would you treat him? Sometimes you need Judah Escariot to help you to stay in God's presence. Because when you know that your enemy is in your house, you won't sleep the way you sleep. <laughs> you won't eat the way you are eating. Because in Micah, the Bible says, a man's enemy shall be in his own house. The day you will know that Judah Escariot is your boss at work. You won't play and joke with that job. There's not any way you can live with Judah without Holy Ghost power. And yet, Judah is necessary in life. Because he doesn't You need Satan in life. Satan You need problems. Because problems are challenges. Pastor Agnes told us. Challenges are opportunities. To you. So after a long time of not reprimanding that woman. I, I wa, I was pl the, uh, the time I was planning to reprimand her, COVID came in. COVID Lift up your hand and thank God for COVID-19. I said, thank God for COVID-19. COVID the storm of COVID-19 took her and she has never returned, and she never returned. To God be the glory forever. COVID ya mutu arayo na jayara gata danga. Chena linja gali za embazi. Chivu ya ganyo nyamu jenje kalu. Katina, wanga, atemba kumugo, baby, kambi ya nwe danjo gira ko, awantu, ona nemu kama ya antasa, kumanga ayo gira, hizo kujana atuwa na wina kogira ko, ebintu, neba jajaba jajaba, wibata gamba. 
would have a good image. But I thank God. Thank you, Lord, because of COVID. Before we do any prayer, can I have anointing oils on my table? My sermon is done. After this summit, go and identify a sacred place individually and pay attention to waiting on the Lord. When you go to wait upon the Lord, don't ask anything in the fallen nature, any material thing. Ask for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit upon your life. When it comes your way, everything will be great. I want us to do two things. Number one, I want to ordain one of my sons. Gifted by God. It has been in my life for about 20 years. Got born again in my hand. Baptize him. Pray for him to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Disciple he did. And after looking into his eyes, I discovered God has called him, has gifted him as a farmer. I send him back to his native place. And he has faithfully done this. He has worked on my farm. He has done a great work. And I've God, by his spirit, requested me to ordain him as an apostle in farming. Because it is God that gives special gifts. Come forward, Mulongo Kato. Mulongo Kato, Maso. Acts chapter 6, verse 1 to 6. The Bible says, in those days when the number of the disciples were multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Galileans against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. Verse 2. Then the twelve called the multitude of the disciples unto them and said, It is not reason that we should leave the word of God and serve the tables. Verse 3. Wherefore, brethren, look ye out among you seven men of honest report. Now, this man um, has proven himself with a honest report. He is full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom. And the Bible says, whom we may appoint over this business. The answer to Uganda is farming. As we saw yesterday, men like Apostle Dawson rise up. Is another apostle rising up in this country. Acts chapter 14, verses 21 to 23. And when they had preached the gospel to that city and had taught many, they turned again to Lystria and to Econian and Antioquia. Antioch, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith, and they must go through attribution, enter into the kingdom of God. And when they had ordained them elders in every church, so this is what we are doing in scripture. When they had ordained them as elders in church, they had prayed and fasted, and they commended them to the Lord on whom they believed. Acts chapter 13, verses 1. The Bible says, and now when they were in the church that was in Antioch, certain prophets and teachers as Barnabas and Simeon that was called Niger and Lucas of Silene and the Niger uh, Mania, which had been brought up with uh, Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. And they ministered to the Lord and fasted. And the Holy Ghost said, separate Barnabas and Paul for the work thereunto I have called unto them. And when they had fasted and prayed, they laid hands on them and they sent them away. In Exodus chapter 36, 1 and 31, God is the one that gives men special gifts. So today we want to anoint my son as an apostle and release him to go and sower 
Again, that in the grace day. that God has ordained here. Get on your knees. Let me ask my pastors to come and stand behind him as we lay hands on him in the name of Jesus. Such men are the answer to the recovery of the economy of this country. We don't need more guns. We don't need more tear gas. We, not, we don't need more bullets. We need more anointed farmers. We deliver our country. Come also, Mulunji. Come the wife as well. Uganda today Uganda does not need more universities. We need more of such men. Uganda needs food more than tear gas. Uganda needs food more than guns. Uganda needs food more than anything else. Let's stretch our hands towards them. And lay our hands on them. My father Tata. You brought Mulongo Kato in my life over 18 years ago. He has proven to be a true son. Many times he has risen up in the night without my consent. And he has worked in the night using the moon. He has walked miles to come and serve me. He's an embodiment of a true son. You moved my spirit last year. That I should set upon my son. And release him as an apostle into farming. You are the Lord that gives different gifts to men for the body of Christ. Today, in the name of Jesus Christ, I anoint you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I release the anointing as an apostle upon your life. I release the glory of God. God created the first man and Kat, put him in the garden. God spoke to man in the garden. From, From today, today, let that lost glory be restored through you. That through you, people will return to the garden. People will return to the garden. In the garden, you came in the cool of the day. Your voice was clear. I pray that as returns to the garden, may your voice become clear. Let every service and sacrifice he has given, let the books of remembrance open. Dignify my son. Dignify your son. This is my son in whom I am well beloved. I endorse the call of God upon you that from this day, Every land you will touch will bear fatness and fruits. Everything that you have missed for over years, let your life be decollected from today. Let your name become a name of honor. Let your name become a name of household. Not only in this generation, but even in the generations to come. Let, let through you people return to the garden. Let through you people return to faithfulness. Let through you people return to royalty. Let through you people return to the voice of God. Let through you people return to the original and intended dignity of mankind. From today, I ordain you, I anoint you, I lose you as an arrow in the hand of a mighty warrior. I lose every help you need. I lose every wisdom you need. I lose every power you need. I seal you with the seven seals of the Holy Spirit. And I pray for your wife from today. May God give you grace to be the helper suitable for him to carry the global mandate upon my son. Receive the power. I pray for Proverbs 
31 from verse 10 and to the end to become your portion. I pray that from today you will support the servant of God to do the will of God. I release you today in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let's clap as it goes back to see. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Let's clap for them as they go back to sleep. Let's clap for them. Let's clap for these great men. Don't be surprised when you begin to see them on CNN, on BBC. Look at their face very well. You'll be seeing them. They'll be making headlines, national headlines, regional headlines, global headlines. Continental, look at be, them. Be you better pick their address now. Make them your friend now. They're going to be too busy. They will be dealing with the heads of states of nations. The next thing I want to pray for, Casting, are you ready? Casting now, Wadi. Is Casting around? Casting, Wadi. I want to pray for my son, Pastor Mara. Pastor Mara, come. Pastor Mara, Jiangu. There is a big, there is something bigger than the church God wants to do in Karamoji. I saw by revelation a new city in Karamoji. I saw it. I saw Karamoji as the food basket of this country. I saw Karamoja on the heart of God. I saw men rise out of Karamoja. God is going to use to bring revival across the nations. I saw it. So want to Pastor Mara started a school. Pastor Mara Somero. But next year, we are rolling out. Let's, do you have the school they have started now? The one they have, they have started. If you have it in media, give it to us. I want Itu. to show our church something. So that you can be part of what God is part of. They have started school in grass-thatched buildings. By faith. As a witness, as an evidence that God uses a mustard seed to do great things. But now, that's where they have started. But next year, we are rolling out a program. From this grass thatched, this is where we are going to be next year. We are, we are beginning with a primary school. After about five years. Or seven years if the Lord tarries. Every district of Karamoja, nine of them, we have the similar model primary school. District is no primary school. After eight years, give us those. Pictures as I speak these things. Yeah, that's the you see. You see God, see, God honors humble beginnings. This is how we begin. Look at like that. Head teacher's office. Receptionist. Receptionist. My God. Look at the classroom. They are purely organic. Look at the inside grass classroom. They are having breakfast. First class breakfast. Look at the fence gate. Look at the gate made out of bamboo. Look at the classes, the setup. And the compound. Those are the first students. Praise the name of the Lord. After primary schools, 
Primary school. We shall roll out secondary schools in every district of Karamoja. Which eventually will lead us to open up a state of art university in university From that, many other infrastructure developments will take place. One of the things we shall put there. It's an international airport. I have told people, I have told people uh, I, 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 at the round table. Nagambi around the round table. Some two years to come. Pastor Mala, we shall be chattering him aircraft to pick him in Abim to come wow, and preach. Ngatumu wele za kanyonyi jango bulire atenga kamusayo. The eagles are having breakfast. It's going to be the first in the, the name of Jesus day one here at Kingdom Life Heritage School Abim. Many times you are busy having breakfast. The teachers are supervising them. Ngatubu tuko saka nyonye biya wansi na kuvude. Karamoja is going to become the center of the world because God has chosen to do wonderful things there. Karamoja again akfoka ensi ko yensi. Nice. Wakatunda yensi mi okwa kocha kora mukaramoja. Nice. My name is Rafael. Okay. We are developing the. School. Ingenia Kastin, please, can you give us the classroom blocks? Let's try to take you in that world. Uh, uh, breakfast in classroom blocks of, of the new school. We thank God, we bless God for this day. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, 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 the, 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 the new one, the new one that is coming on. I'm going to request thank all the people from Kalamuja to come and stand by your pastor here. Amen. So that you become witnesses. We are going to begin with four classroom blocks with the two classes each. They are coming up now. There will be world class standard classrooms. Four cross window ventilation. Now that's the impression now. They'll be having electricity. For any technical demonstrations uh, uh, during study, the power will be on and everything. So that's those are the classes. And this is how the classes will be looking inside. That is the blackboard. Those are the tables. And those are the blocks. State of art. Keep on taking us to, those are the classes. We have um, a lab. We have a, a, a computer lab. computer lab? With fully fledged computers. Nane computer zija kuba We shall have those are the classrooms. And that, that's how they will look. We will be joking. We shall have an inbuilt kitchen and a seating area. This is now uh, this is now staff room. Where teachers will come, the, the things you have seen are the cabinets where teachers will be storing their staff. We shall have a small sink in there to wash and do a couple of things. Let's get to something else. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, this is now. Yes, get inside. This is our computer lab. Computer lab we have wait with Wagari Fanani. In our primary school. In our primary school we have. We want our children to be computer literacy. That's how it will appear. Computer lab. Yeyo, computer 
Let's go to the kitchen. That is our kitchen area. That's where they will be serving from. And that area is where after they are served, that's where they will be sitting to have their lunch. Today they are in grass thatched houses. We want to bring dignity to the Karamajongs. That's the sitting area from the kitchen. Let's see something else. That's I think that should be the kitchen and there will be a canteen close to it. Then from there we shall be able to put up a church. church. Let's go to the church. Every school, primary school, we have a church. Kingdom Life Tabernacle Church. And this is the church. Let's get in the church now. This is the church. We are still developing its model. We want all our churches to have a kind of similar model with our church here, the headquarters. This is how you get into the church. It will have both this and that, that. As it is here, so shall it be in Kalamoja. So that's the downer part and that is the gallery. It will have an office. Let's go into the offices and the toilets on the building. Office, the toilets, it, One side, those are the offices. Is the office. The downer office will be for the secretary. The upper office will be for the team leader of that place. So you enter through that as you come behind in my office. Then that is the first floor. That would be a finance office. Or secretary's office. Then they will have their own toilet still on the same floor. As you move out, there is a cabin. There's a, a sink and a toilet. That's on the first floor. Then we go, when we go to the second floor, we take stairs and go to the second floor. Now on the second floor, there are two offices. Now let's go to the second floor. To the upper floor. Now on the upper floor, like when you face my office, the first thing you see, first lady. The first floor office will be for the first lady. There are two mama. That is their waiting area. Mrs. Omala will be, will be, that will be of office. Then next to him will be Pastor Omala. I think by this time he will be an apostle. Amen. That is now his office. office. And before his office, there is a lounge. Like the lounge of his father, that's his lounge. Now, uh, mine has black seats. His will have white. That is his lounge where his vis visitors will wait. And then you get into his office. As you enter in his office, he will have, in that office, he will have. That's an area for secretary. Our secretary. Then he will have his private toilet bathroom. In the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, we wanted to take you on that tour. By the grace of God, we have already paid over 95% over the 10 acres we need to put up that school. We have already paid about 95%. By March, we would have completed paying off the 10 acres where that project will sit. It will have four acres of demonstration farm. It will have a medical center. It will have a church. Now, we are using this as a satellite, as a pilot 
project. Tukoze sachi no ngo kula gaba antunti biso boko so kuta andika mumbera yonna. It will have a, a field. This is how the field will look in a beam. It's a way to which you can find a play field. That is a recreation center. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. So we want to pray for our son now. When I got this from the Lord, I showed it to Pastor Agnes. Because everything I receive, I show it to Pastor Agnes. It's a book. Every, everything is rolled out and they strategy out to get there. This is what Pastor Agnes told me. Pastor, it will take God for this to happen. I say it will take God. And I'm glad you have that God. Because in the lifetime, you cannot see these things in reality. It takes God for these things to take place. So I want us to pray for God is will to be done in Kalamoja. Let me ask my pastors to come. Pastor Mala, get on your knees and your, 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 your sons also get on your knees. My pastors come. Let's lay hands upon this vessel. My father and my master when we went to Karamoja, you opened my eyes to see this reality. When Moses appeared on the mountain and waited, he saw the pattern of the tabernacle. They were in the wilderness. But when he waited on you, men brought silver and gold. One time offering. Every bill was made. You are the same God. You change not. With God all things are possible. You open my eyes to see this. I was privileged to see it. From today. I anoint my son. To take the grace. To take the grace. To do the purpose and the will of God. Many NGOs have been in Kalamoja. Including the office of the president. And the first lady. But whatever happens in Kalamoja is a shame. Lord, we pray. That through our son. To restore the dignity of your people. You are a faithful God. You are a faithful father. I anoint my son today. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Ghost, quicken his heart, quicken his soul, quicken his spirit. Let people that you have wired, let them disciple men and women that will bring back glory and dignity to God. Let them become a replica of your kingdom. But it will become the billboard for men in the 21st century to study what the kingdom of God is. As it was to Daniel, let it be so to him. As it was to Moses, let it be so to him. As it was to Joseph, let it be so to him. As it was to Jesus in the flesh, let it be so to him. Strength his sons. Strength his sons and daughters. To give him support. Let help come from above. Let help come from above. In the name of Jesus. That through him. He will restore the dignity of sonship. In this country. We list angels. To protect you. To preserve you. Release the 12 intelligence of the Holy Spirit. To help you in this journey. Be released. Go and flourish. In Jesus' name. Let's give God praise and glory. Amen. You may go back. All the pastors that came. Stand on your feet. I want to pray for you now. If you're a pastor and you came, stand on your feet. You're a pastor, you are a leader in your church that you are representing. 
Let, Let me release the blessing of God upon you. My, lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. The same anointing on this platform. I release it upon your life. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord establish your ministry. Establish your life. Establish whatever you do. That as you leave this mountain. You will not leave it and as an ordinary individual. I charge your spirit. I charge your heart. I charge your life with the power to wait on the Lord. I release you in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and the Holy Ghost from today to go and do everything. Exploit in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. From today, I lose power that you may operate in signs, in miracles, and in wonders. Receive grace in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Receive it. To the rest of us, stand on your feet that I may lose the blessing of this summit upon you. Even those that are watching online, those that are listening on radio, wherever you are, put your hands on your head. Put your hands on your head. There's some grace on this mountain. There's some grace of exploits. There's some grace of exploits. There's some grace of nothing of waiting. May come upon you. May come upon you. My father, my master, you called us on this mountain. And this year of kingdom alignment, I now align every man here, those listening and those watching. I align them with God's original purpose concerning their lives. I align them to God's purpose destination. In the name of Jesus, I pray that they get perfected in every area of their lives. I pray that they get anointed in every area of their lives. The same grace in the house will be replicated through them. We be multiplied through them. We be increased through them. I pray that from this day they will rise from glory to glory, from power to power, from grace to grace, from favor to favor. I pray that in the name of Jesus, every one of them will cut the anointing of desperately waiting upon God, of desperately crying unto the Lord, of desperately waiting on the Lord. That as they wait on you, they will receive the blueprint of their destinies, the blueprints of their lives, and grace will come upon them. I release all of you right now into a colorful destiny, into an enviable destiny. I decollect your life with the seven spirits of God. I decollect your life with the twelve of intelligences of the Holy Spirit. I decollect your life. With signs, with miracles, with wonders, wherever you are, I lose you. Begin to show now. Receive it in Jesus' mighty name. If you believe it, clap and shout to the Lord Jesus Christ. Shout, shout, shout. May you prophetically sit on your throne and sit on the head of your enemy now. Take your seat, take your throne, step on the foot of your enemy as you do so. Praise the name of Jesus. Have you been blessed? What a beautiful day. Now, these are special answers you are going to be done.
Bino virango vyanja ulo tumalirise. If you are here and you are not born again. Boboli wanongatolo kokanga. And you like to give your life to Jesus Christ. Oyagala kwa ibulambu eri mukama fe Yesu. Let me see your hand. I will pray for you. Kanda bo mukono koto. Okole oyagala kulokoka. You want to be born again. Oyagala kulokoka. You want to belong to this winning team. Oyagala kubera mumwaka bakabuno bulu. Can I see your hand? Kanda bo mukono gongatoli mulokole. All right. Fena tuli balokole. We are going to do one more prayer and we are going to be done. Tugenda kusaba Yesu ali muno ruvanyuma tumalirize. Special announcements. Ebirange byenjawo. This coming Sunday. Sunday no kosencha. Is going to be our seventh graduation. Uh, ceremony na matikira go mulundi ogomisa. Leadership Institute. Aba Leadership Institute ya Kingdom Life. And our guest of honor. Iromgenyu wa fomu kuru. Will be Dr. Michael Chaze. Dr. Michael Chaze. He has confirmed. He's excited. He wants to come here. If you are a leader, a pastor, you want a leadership institute in your in the church, talk to the uh, to talk to the missions director. Bobanga, we are gonna oh oh. If somebody no, if you if you leadership institute, you can say you get a missions director. Before you leave, we make a program. To jackora program. Number two. All the CDs and the teachings for the last 40 days they are available on a flash only at 20,000 shillings for all the preachers. That's good. So you can go at the book stand pick it yourself in a special way. I want to appreciate the following people. First and foremost, I want to appreciate our pastoral team, Pastor Agnes, Pastor Peter, Pastor Kagwa. Thank you so much for putting this together. I want to appreciate in a special way our missions director and the wife, um, uh, Elder Michael, can you stand? Missions director, Thank you so much, sir. I want to appreciate in a special way the women of this house that have made sure that everything is good. Thank you so much, our mothers and the women in this place. I want to thank God so much the music department as well as the people in the instrument. Thank you so much. In a special way, this year, media team has exceptionally done excellently. Let's clap for the media team. You have never seen them. They are behind the scene. Let me, let me show you their boss. Emma Masambu, come. This year they took it to another level. Thank you so much, Emma. Emma is a wonderful son. And a great leader. Thank you, son. And your entire team. Today we have been able to reach out to more people around the world than all the empowerment summits. Both on our YouTube and our online radio. YouTube online radio. We thank God so much for the media team. We want to thank God so much. Is the Chief Asha here? Chief Asha Wali. Elder Magumba. Magumba. He's not here. But the wife is here, stand and represent him. Um, Let's chara. appreciate God for the ushers. Ushers. How many of you are, uh, have been in our toilets? How many of you have been to our toilets? Let's clap for those beautiful ladies. Amazing ladies. Amazing ladies. We want to appreciate God for... Uh, our Pastor Kagwa and all the worship and praise team. Thank Musumba you so much. Let's appreciate God for the interpreters led by Elder Raymond Ruanga. Amazing job. I want to appreciate God for 
the security department. Mr. Grant and his team. Mr. Grant, There's a great man that is puts everything together. He hasn't been with us in the week. He told me because of some responsibilities. I want you to stand, Mr. Nabongo, come here. Mr. Nabongo, This one is our church administrator. Oh, yo. Is our church administrator. Oh, yeah, administrator. He has made sure that even regardless of his business schedule, he does a great job. Let's appreciate our church administrator. Church administrator to Thank you so much. We want to appreciate God for uh, our 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 registration team led by Madame Sharon Apio Katumba. Madame Sharon Abadawandika She's a very busy woman. She's a senior lecturer at one of the colleges in this country. She heads a whole department in a college. But she chose to take off leave to come and serve. She will never miss her portion in Jesus' name. We want to appreciate God. For all the visiting pastors from near and from far. Pastors, thank you for coming. We appreciate you. Some of you, you brought food and many things. In a special way, we want to appreciate God. For the team from Bulenga, Pastor Chris's team. Son. The team from Bulenga, team after every summit, I don't know what their pastor told them. I don't know what they discovered. They will make sure that they clean up the carpet, the church, and everything will be clean. Let's appreciate the Bulenga team. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is there anyone I've not mentioned? Pastor Peter, is there Let's appreciate God in a special way. If this one has not appreciate them, we might have trouble with finance. Our finance. Let's appreciate <laughs> Tony. But hey. you stand. This one is our financial board. Oh, yo, yo, you see, normally after preaching, there's love offering. If I don't mention him, we'll oh, be we So oh, let's man, appreciate the thing. finance. Thank you so much. Every preacher that comes here is blessed very well. In a special way. Let's appreciate my daughter. Sarah Keke. Where are you? Sarah Keke. She's out. Wali. She has been able to make a cake for every preacher, including. I, I hope mine is already ready. Now, if I don't mention it, I might not receive mine. We have not told her she, 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 she's self-driven. Every time, yesterday when I came, back, the one for, 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 for Apostle Dawson was ready with his names. I know the one from for Pastor Omar is already there. Yeah, I, I Pastor, Pastor Peter, me, you know, Pastor Peter. Lord is faithful in yeah. Jesus' name. So Sarah, wherever you are, thank you so much. Every one of you that has done my, my 